in today's video, I wanted to explore a way that I could have been saving time that up to this point, I've not really bothered with. Uh, and that is the block library. These videos are brought to you by G66 UK, and that's your place to get an Axe FX3, FM9 or FM3 in the UK with no waitlist. Uh, and to jump onto the VP4 waitlist. It's also a UK service center and no import charges. Anyway, right. So you, you know, have seen possibly me build some presets before. I typically am doing similar things all the time here. And so what I should really be doing is going like this. I think, so I need to add a pre-delay here is 64 milliseconds. This is from my John Cordy Tones 3 preset, but a lot of these elements would be useful for me outside of just this preset, say JC Ice Reverb. And what I could be doing therefore would be to be doing far quicker building of presets. Um, library recall. And you can even save modifiers as well. So this would be what JC ODS. So I guess what is important is to, to label these things that are going to mean something to you later on. Uh, let's rename this one. Save JC designer cab. We so that's every element now saved. So so now if I was to go to a new preset, so this was basically four scenes. Okay, if I go and copy this one as well, so this uh, save JC power EQ. Now let's just try and build this preset back together. How can we do this? Why does this thing matter? What is life? What does it all mean? Other such questions. So building presets can be, oh, I don't want to do that, do I? Right, so we actually want to just go here, library, recall, cabinet, JC Diner Cab. Okay, then we want to go library, recall, JC ODS. Then what else was there? There was a power EQ here, library, recall, JC power EQ. You see it's also nicely organized in terms of delay and stuff like that. So you could have quite a few things going on here and it still be very quick recall uh, reverb JC ice reverb and then up front we had compressor library recall compressor and then library recall drive right But the cool thing about this is that I could also, you know, save it, bring in blocks from other presets that maybe I like the sound of. So nothing there that's jumping out at me, but say, That's pretty cool. What is making that do that? I think it's that. Dual chromatic. Copy this. Library. Save. Oh, we should copy that modifiers. So that'll be useful. Maybe that's where it's... New this is exactly what this feature is useful for. Uh, save, entire block, including modifiers. New Atmos swell, save. Does this have stuff going on? No, right. So now in my preset, port, record, 
cool U Atmos swell. <laughs> What's going on with this then? Presets. What we have to do is go into this controller part, ADSR1. This is where we're getting some differences. So 100 millisecond attack, 50 millisecond decay, 50 millisecond sustain. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. and then attack 100. Sustain mode. I mean, I've got to do a video on this. This is bonkers. Minus 35. Sustain level 100%. Okay, and now we've. Absolutely bonkers stuff. Something I'd never really have come up with by myself very clearly here. Uh, let's put the pitch. Uh, library, recall, pitch shifter, Atmos pitch. So we just added something totally bonkers that I'd have never come up with because that block library is really useful. interesting stuff so yeah that's one way you can make I think effective use of these blocks something I'm not really using that often So yeah, give that a try if you haven't already. I'll catch you in another video soon. JC Blocks, I'll drop up into the folder. Just some absolute craziness there with the ADSR. Um, so. Catch you in another video soon and cheers for stopping by.